Hello, pal! Welcome to Zero Mode again. We're back, and we're about to try Link's crossbow training. I'm really excited. I'm actually quite excited. Um, so I've got I've got a real like love of rubbish Wii Zapper games. Adjust alignment. Uh, how do I? Okay, I point at the center. What's that doing? I think you've got. Is that better? Yeah, that's a little bit better for me, I think. Right, at least we can all just blame controls. The controls. Yeah, that's cool. That's my favourite thing to do. Okay, uh, uh, I don't know if I've got batteries to do multiplayer. All right, we'll we'll just do score attack. Okay, we'll do score attack for today, and then maybe another time we'll do multiplayer. But for now, we just want to see what the fuck this is. Let's go for it, Nathan. Yep, I've already played it a little bit, but. Uh, okay, should we go from the beginning? Go from the beginning. We need some. Yeah, we'll, we'll you can't remember we'll what you've the done. whole thing. Uh, order on target practice. Okay, so if I remember right, you get um, more points if you keep up a combo as well. Hit the balls as yeah, consecutive hits boost your score. Cool. Go. Enough. So, I just don't understand how this game exists, but I'm all for it. I love it. Um, just look at this wild excitement of The Legend of Zelda. I can't remember the textures ever being as bad <laughs> on, well, Twilight Princess. I'm guessing it is just exactly the same level, just with targets. Uh, yeah, this this must be using exactly the same uh, materials as Twilight Princess, but I don't think they had the budget to make it work for it like it did in the other one. Oh, it's pretty cinematic. Fuck you. Um, that just reminds me of, did you ever play uh, Point Blank? Point Blank is one of my favourite shooting ups. Yes, such a good arcade one. And there was a really good um, version of it for DS as well. Oh really? Ah oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I know what you're saying, like a, a shooting game on the DS seems a bit ridiculous because you just tap it, but it was really, really good. It was all about like consecutive hits and getting it right and timing and stuff. Um, yeah, there's, I, I really, really enjoyed that. Uh, uh, uh. The point back in the arcade, especially with the kickback on the gun. Yes. I used to love playing two player as well. Yes. And using your gun to just basically destroy the other player. Yeah. And then just carry on the level yourself. <laughs> oh, and I haven't played that in the arcade in such a long time. I doubt you'll be able to find an arcade with it in it. Anyway. Awesome. Yeah, I know. To target score. Oh, that's overall, that's overall. Cool. I thought I was, like, completely fucking up. <laughs> Alright, cool. You go next. Get a feel for it. Alright, so yeah, I'm using this for the first time. Oh yeah, we've got the Wii Zapper, because it's awesome. Because why wouldn't you? I loved all the, like, the plastic Wii crap you could get. Um, I mean, not the, the really rubbish ones that weren't okay, this licensed. this doesn't feel like I'm aiming... No? Does it feel aiming? wrong? Yeah, but hang on. We don't care. Yeah, I'm, I moved it around a little bit, sorry. You, all cool? Yeah, I think so. I've got the target there, so it shouldn't make a difference. Fuck him up! What? Is this part of Twilight Princess? Is it that I don't remember? Yeah, this was, um... Oh, this is like Star Fox Guard all over again. Jesus. Yeah, this was... That's like... Get the uh, green like, guy! This is like the horrible dream sequence in Batman vs Superman. Only this makes more sense. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> this that? is like that dream sequence in the terrible yeah. Batman vs Superman. Whoa! Oh. Oh. oh my god! Jesus! I didn't realise... No, I didn't either. Fucking hell. Go, go! <laughs> oh, oh dear. Oh, things have gone wrong. Things have gone completely wrong. <laughs> I thought it was basically turning for me. <laughs> okay. Okay. And, all right, right, my turn. So yeah, I've got to keep an eye on the radar, which... I mean, uh, this game has explained absolutely fucking nothing. It's literally started up, gone score attack. Like, I mean, I didn't expect a story, but 
anything to be like, okay, this is what's happening. Cool, he's dead. Fuck you in the peen. Yep. Ooh. Yes! Do it. Oh. Oh, I can move! Oh my god, explain anything, please, game. <laughs> Um, have you ever played Nintendo Land? No. Uh, that actually has like a really awesome kind of walking around bow and arrow segment. Um, like the Legend of Zelda game on there is actually really, really well done. Uh, like some people have swords, some people have bows and arrows. Oh, oh did I get points? Sweet. But, um, yeah, Nintendo Land's really, really fun. It's like, it's a bit of a... Yeah, you know, I know a few people who... Proof like... of concept. Oh, shit. Well, I have seen it for very dirt cheap on Amazon and such. So I should actually really get it. Who, is there somebody behind me or something? Um, yeah, it's worth it. Honestly, like, if you get a group of people together, it's so much fun. Even just like one or two of you. And it's the best... Um, it's the best use of the Wii, uh, the Wii U remote, definitely. Possibly the only. Which is pretty sad when it was like... The First yeah, game the remote. packing <laughs> game. But then, but then Wii Sports was the best use of the Wii Remote. Yeah, that's true. Like, sometimes it is, it is the proof of concept. Sweet. I think we're going to fucking nail that. Uh, okay, so we didn't get our target. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did? Yeah, yeah I, lo I just got loads. Oh, sorry, I thought that was our final score. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. So did I, to be honest. <laughs> you got a bronze medal. Maybe. Yeah. Like, it's not silver or gold, but... Sweet. Uh, it's obviously clearly more than I got last time. Okay, level two. Hand it over. Okay, let's do this. A grand target game. I mean, it's just. I I do I do wish there was a little bit of a story. If you're using the Legend of Zelda, that's like a really famously cinematic, like story focused game. Like if it was just Mario's fireball training, then yeah, fuck it, kill Bowser, go. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. This is looking pretty intimidating. Careful, you get, you get consecutive hits, so try not to waste them. They look so proud to have these I'm like proud. this weird like full Monty sort of situation. <laughs> They're like, yeah, sweet, fire arrows at my dick, bring it on. I made of rocks, dude. I don't care. Ooh. Are they made of rocks? Or are they just part rock? Like um, emos. Ooh. Their bellies look a bit soft. Like Smaug. Wait, no, he had like the crystal. No, it was under the crystal bit in his belly, wasn't it? Yeah. That was the weak spot. Smaug. Smaug. Why? Oh, I thought it was a circle. I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. I've got good at the opticians this week. I've been getting headaches loads recently, and I remembered it's because um, I've had my fucking eyes tested a little while ago, and they told me that my glasses aren't my prescription anymore. And I've just been, I've just been wearing because my eyes have got worse, so I've been wearing glasses for like weeks now that just aren't helping my eyes at all. I'm wondering why I keep getting headaches. Yeah, I think you've just uh, explained it yourself. <sighs> yeah, right. Uh, ready to start? Pew, pew, pew! I think there's something wildly exciting about getting new glasses. Like, if you wear glasses all the time, it is actually like, oh, what am I going to wear for the next six months? Every day. Yeah, my... You remember as a child I actually faked an eye test just so I could oh, wear glasses. That's really cute. <laughs> but then I ended up hating having that would also, to wear glasses. That would also Especially because it fucked up my eyes a bit. Yeah, and I said that would hurt your eyes. Uh, oh my god, there's a lot going on. I, I really don't think the Wii Zapper helps in any way. Not at all. 
Do you remember? I just have feel a, badass. Do you have a, a super scope for the SNES. Remember that? No. I had something similar for the Mega Drive, and the Terminator game, and wait, no, I had Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt was on the NES. That was just a little. That was a handheld zapper. Was was Duck Hunt on the Master System? No. No, it can't have been, can it? It was an Nintendo. It came free with the NES. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I had I had one for the Mega Drive and like the the Terminator game and a couple of others. Did you have the Super Scope? Did you? No, my friend did. They looked a bit it was badass. Pretty rubbish games. <laughs> but you did have a bazooka on your shoulder, so. Yeah, there we go. I want the power glove so bad. That's such like a I horrible piece of nostalgia. I mean, shoot the things. Callum, come on. Oh, this is just clay skull shooting. I'm guessing those red ones don't get. Oh, uh, you probably get more points for them. Oh, let's find out. Yep. yep. You ever done clay pigeon shooting? No. Right, so I'm we... not, I don't think I'm middle class enough. <laughs> Whoa there! I did it, and I'm very, very, very working class. I um, there was there was a club near me when I, where I was brought up, and my dad took me down. I actually really loved it as like a. a a hating sports kid <laughs> to suddenly be like, yeah, Dad, can I have a rifle and a shooting jacket? I also was uh, like, I was kind of alright with aim when I was younger. I mean, I fired BB guns. Sweet. <laughs> Still though. Still. Ooh, Twenty thousand. Yeah, I thought this game doesn't need to explain to you what's going on, or what you need to do. I mean, obviously you just need to shoot things, so... Yeah. Well, well, yep, yeah, cool, fuck it, when we come back, uh, next Maybe. episode, level 3! Who knows what's gonna happen? Well, Kakariko target practice, that's exactly what's gonna happen, but you'll see it next time!